back to the channel guys tune in seven mods here and in today's video i'm gonna show you and tell you guys how much struggle i had to get this car inspected without further let's jump into it if it's your first time watching one of my videos i bought this corvette c5 z06 it's a 2002 model now i bought it about three weeks ago now and the car has not been driven for the past two probably three years at least legally um, the car has 61 now 62,000 miles and the issue that i got with this car is that when i bought it i knew it needed new tires which it actually did so I bought new tires, which was the only thing in my mind I thought I needed to do to pass inspection. Now, if you're not aware from here in the United States, if the car has not been inspected, you will not get your registration. It means I'm not legally able to drive this car on the road. So I got new tires and shout out to the guys at Driver's Edge up in Louisville. So they did an amazing job of helping me I will put the video clips here and there how it went After we did the tires, we actually, uh, they helped me out and did the inspection the same day and even though the store was closing, we thought, hey, let me get it um, inspected and then, then the next day I can actually go to the DMV and get the car registered. And that's where everything went down because the car did not pass inspection, which in my mind is like shit excuse my language but what did i just bought because if the car doesn't pass inspection what am i dealing with because i read the codes with my um, odb2 scanner which i will leave a link down in the description and it told me told me that the car only has abs issues now abs issues doesn't interfere with passing inspection because the brakes work it's just the abs module it's kind of an electronic system which it's very normal for the corvettes to have an issue on which i will fix in the future and like i see i'm driving and i'm braking i'm here in the spotlight stoplight and everything is working fine now the issue being it that it, there was a lot of codes which we had no car at least i have no clue that the machine wasn't picking up and then the inspector told me the car sat for too long you have to drive it now the, the issue is again as you as you heard me earlier the car is not registered i don't even have license plates i don't have anything to legally be driving on the road and that's where i had to take some risks take some back roads from the areas that i know avoid cops I went home, drove it a little bit, like I said, 5-10 miles, something like that. And then once I get back to the uh, inspection place a day or two later, there was originally three or four codes not um, passing. And it went down to two codes that's not passing. I mean, it's a better step, but still it didn't pass. So the guy told me I need to actually go onto a freeway drive the speed limit which here in texas is 70 or 75 miles 
an hour depending on the road that you are and that's where I'm like okay that that's a big risk that I guess I have to take but whatever so I threw my 297 plates that I have on the car which is a fake one the night before I went for that longer drive on the freeway I did some research and I had to postpone my drive the next day because I ordered Tektron um, through Amazon, I mean, it makes it so much easier and convenient. And I actually, um, when the next morning, once I received it, the Tektron is a complete fuel system cleaner from gas in the, in the gas tank, from the injector to the lines, basically everything. And it's recommended from the package to use it when your gas tank is kind of empty mine was a little bit below a quarter so I have footage when I was at the gas station here and then basically you just dump it in the whole bottle and it says that you need to fill it in with about um, 12 gallons of gas obviously I only run 93 in this C5 Corvette but I have no clue exactly how big the gas tank is so I know I have some in it so I, I would guess about one gallon so I poured 11 gallons in and that's where I drove it normally let it all mix a little bit and then I went for a drive and you know banging the gears get to the freeway get to the speed limit honestly I drove it for a good hour so once I took the drive, went to the inspection, voila, it passed like flying colors, like, like clean and everything. Now, is that something that the Tektron did? In my opinion, I would think yes. Why also? Because uh, when I start up the car, every car I start up, I, I wait for it to um, warm up before I drive it. Now, once I did this, with the garage open, the carbon monoxide of the exhaust actually triggered the alarm inside of the house. That's how bad the fuel was running on the C5, again, because the car has been sitting for too long. Now, is it only a Corvette thing? Honestly, I don't think so. I never bought a car that has been sitting for a while. And then basically that Tektron thing works. They recommend it every 3000 miles. You can actually pour it in, mix it with gas and that will clean the fuel lines. And guess what? I'll be doing that. I'm planning to do all change every three to 5,000 miles on this Corvette anyways. So I will be at that time also pouring the Tektron in it. So if it's something that your car is not passing inspection, Hopefully this video was helpful and if you like Corvette stuff, which again, I, I said I just bought this car three weeks ago, I'm still learning all the glitches that it has. Now that the car is finally legal to drive, I can actually go and make more videos, which the weather is getting better. It's already 80 degrees outside, which I like. I'm in shorts as you guys can see. So with that being said, like, share, comment and subscribe. And if there's any questions, you can also follow me on Instagram, send me a DM. I can always help you if it's anything I can do. So peace out and I'll see you on the next video. Out.